Lubin. Welcome to an episode of uh, Let's Let's Talk. Um, I'm going to go over a few postings that uh, I, I like to discuss about uh, YouTube Red. And uh, yeah, let's go over to uh, Twitter here. Twitter here, I retweeted two, two I think, of the most uh, informational uh it's one from a, one from someone who's skeptical and one from someone who's optimistic, and just to educate, try to educate a little bit on this whole YouTube red thing. Now, in reality, I'm probably just adding more confusion as most of the internet's running around with their like chickens with their head cut off. Brilliant! The three G freaking dies. There we go. So this first post is from Boogie to nine and eight. You can see his Twitter right there, so it's not like I'm not giving credit to the guy. I'll try to remember the link in the description too, but sometime later. But I'm trying to get this uploaded immediately, so there probably won't be a description at all at first. Anyway, why creators are panicking about YouTube Red? So let me check. Happen every single day. Are talking about patriots? Okay, so YouTube primarily makes money from ad, from ad revenue. You know, and this allows you know. YouTubers pay a small amount of money to turn them off. Large volume ad fees generate enough money. You know, YouTube creators, you know, generate enough ad revenue to uh, create more content, sustain themselves. The service allows people to turn it off. Many people already turn off ads and third party ad. And these people will not likely pay for something they're doing for free anyways. That's kind of a mute point. Actually, this point is kind of mute. We want to make money off of the people we're not already not making money off of. I mean, it's a, it's a true statement, it's worth making, but it's not really a concern, I don't think. But anyway, back to uh, basically the only people that will pay to turn off ads, the logic of people turn viewing the ads. So basically the only people that will pay YouTube are the people you're already making money off of anyway. This forces YouTubers to maintain their... This YouTubers to which speak up. We don't know that yet, but it's more like this could possibly force YouTubers Imitating their current because you know, depends on how it really depends on how successful it is. Because you know, YouTube wants to make money too, so it's not like they're doing they're gonna shoot themselves in the foot on purpose. Either. You know, they really believe it's gonna make them more money, and that's you know, it's gonna pass and thus pass it on to content creators. Part of the ten dollars that will go to creators, but some of the to all creators, but once again, it's based on view time. So so basically, it's just, people are, ugh, rather than getting the money from ad, in, indirectly from views via ads, you're getting it directly from people paying for the service, and either way, it's divided based on views anyway, it's just where the money's coming from is different. That means pennies for small guys and dollars. This means pennies for small guys and dollars for big guys. It's likely... It will likely not compensate for loss for loss for loss ad revenue. Especially, especially for heavy users, heavy users can actually generate more than ten dollars worth of ad revenue in the course of a month. Now they will generate less. Well, in theory, well, yes, the heavy users. But what about all the lightweight users that are generating less than ten dollars? You know. So once again, we'll have to wait and see. You know, there's two sides to that. You know, there's users that will end up generating less money, but also, I imagine a lot more will only watch like one or two YouTube a day that's going to end up signing up for this that will bring it up. But, don't be going every YouTuber does this for free, and they know the money's ultimately a bonus, but in order for YouTube to keep doing what they're doing, we have the free time. Free time, and free time is created by having our bills paid by creating content for free. If we seem shitty or greedy, scared to it's because we want to continue doing what we love, and we want to do what we love without worrying about having to pay our electric electric and cable bills to do to do it so yeah i mean he does have a few legitimate concerns but once again it's just, all his concerns are a possible future not like a guarantee so i mean yes this could happen but we don't know yet it depends on you know exactly what the profit margin is on ads versus the profit margin of the monthly subscription so anyway, now going to Balrog's more optimistic view, or Bal Balrog's more optimistic view on it. 
Hello, so I've seen a lot of people are confused about what YouTube Red is, and now let's just... So, what... YouTube, no bullshit, no opinions, just what it is. Well, except for one little key detail that you left out, but I imagine it's because you only read... But I imagine it's only because you read the announcement on the uh, Google support page and on their blog, so... You know, I imagine... You know, Google posting some of the information on some of their sources and helping them. But, you know, YouTube Red's an optional service that allows users to watch monetized videos without any ads. It's $10 a month, YouTubers terms of service. If you do not agree to it, your video channels will be privated, not deleted. Oh, that squiggly, that squiggly line wasn't under, wasn't, oh, that squiggly line was typo, not for emphasis. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, privated until you agree, not deleted. This is similar to when you, when you upgrade your phone or computer, you just agree in terms of services, and to be aware of the changes were made, blah, 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 internet users, all, this happens on the internet all the time. So basically, you know, any inactive YouTube accounts will go away. So unfortunately, like those old Lincoln Park, <laughs> his example is old Lincoln Park AMVs. Um, I hope Turnabout, the people who do Turnabout Storm uh, activate their YouTube, but uh, we'll see. So it only, so that that part will only affect an inactive viewers. So basically, only the viewers will be affected a little bit by it, but it's an, it's an inevitable thing something YouTube has to do. They have to make you agree to terms of services or else it's illegal for them to change the terms of services and they need to in order to make this service possible. It probably won't make much notable distance. YouTube's given the vast majority of the revenue, which is about which they are currently given 55% before the YouTube Red thing. It will likely be a fixed amount, so don't worry about watching too many videos and your money being split too thin. Not to mention it's an optional service and most users will probably not use it since YouTube's known for being a free service. Which he does have a valid point there. My videos are unmonetized. Yes, you do have to sign it. Do I have to pay to watch a video? Wait. Do you don't have to pay... S There's a little disclaimer to this one that I will cover. You don't have to pay a cent. You can enjoy YouTube exactly as you have before. Mostly. YouTube is essentially the same service as Twitch Turbo. You can watch Twitch news without ads. Blah, blah. YouTube Red doesn't affect you at all. No, the best way to screw is an ad book. Now, he is mostly right, he is mostly right, but there's one little detail that YouTube posted that I want you to look. YouTube is offering some exclusive content for YouTube Red, but what they are not doing, like what Zero kind of said in Skype to me earlier, is giving creators free access to force you to pay for their content. I think what, what it sounds like to me, what YouTube's doing, is they're reaching out to specific YouTubers and saying, hey, we want you to create this set of videos and we'll make the set of videos that we are telling you to make exclusive content. They're not just handing out a switch for high YouTubers to say, we want the, for you know, like, if I become popular, I can say, hey, you have to pay to watch this video because it's really popular. Like, no, they're not doing that. They're, let's pay to reload. Okay, here we go. I think I got this now. Let's down the like. I'm not sure what the uh, browser did, but anyway. Just, okay, so the series that will be, the series you will need to pay money for, and these are the only ones currently. Scare PewDiePie, reality series from the creators of The Walking Dead. Makes experience thrills, laughter as PewDiePie encounters terrifying situations inspired by his favorite video games. Note that it's not a Let's Play series where he would normally just do Let's Play, where he normally just does Let's Plays. Sing it from Vine. What about this? Come sing a script of comedy, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea who those people are, so I can't say much. Laser Team. Fully featured action comedy from Rooster Teeth and full screen details. Four small town losers stumble upon an alien ship carrying a mysterious cargo leading to a battle to save Earth from an all powerful enemy. So, it's a live action show starring people that normally do let's plays and animations once again they're not doing anything they're already doing as exclusive content they're doing something completely new um, another example of that from someone i actually watched so that i can actually attest to it 360 project from matt Potter game theory youtube educator and pop culture expert from the game theorist invites the audience to come along and ride for an innovative new series 360 vr experience 
Age Ups and Max explores real life science behind popular video games by throwing gamers in the high stakes scenarios and play through every day from water jet packs to haunted pizzeria haunted pizzerias. So it's very similar to game theory, but it's a much more like rather than being a, just a sit down still frame show like usual game theory, this is like a like just little it's like the it's a, it's experiments. It just real life experiments. And that's it. You know, it's completely different from what game theory is. You know, he's, you know, once again, they're not asking him to make content he's already making for that, that's available for free, exclusive. They're asking him to make new exclusive content. So, as far as your current viewing habits, you know, you know, nothing that you get from YouTube now will be locked behind a paywall. Only a few new things, new things that might not even exist had YouTube not approached these guys to make them. So, there you go. So you don't have to worry that you're going to lose your favorite shows, man, a paywall. Or you're going to all of a sudden have to pay to watch the stuff you're already watching. You might be a little depressed when people on Twitter start talking about these series and uh, you can't watch them because you're not paying for it. But, you know, I'm going to scroll to the end of the list just to see so you can see it. But you can look at the article, you know. I'm going to try to remove the posts in the description, but there's the link in the video. So you can manually type it out yourself if you wish. And, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's all I wanted to talk about. So wanted to clear things up there. So, yeah, so YouTube's not forcing you to pay. Though technically no one is forcing you to even watch YouTube. So even if they were forcing you to pay to watch YouTube, they're not, they're still not forcing you to pay. But regardless, semantics aside, see y'all later.